Street Glide Harley Davidson 2010. Uh, modified with a barbecue in the back. It's just a color gas bottle uh, being cut and welded and now we go around still use the bike to when we're in our mobile um, <coughs> operation. This is how everything started. This is like the the symbol of everything for me. This is this represents freedom and and being able to cook anywhere at any time and just rock up to you know to any any place and just cook whatever we want. So we're gonna do the mother burger. Uh, the mother burger he is a triple stack uh, 40 day age uh, patty. Uh, we use a blend of uh, rump, uh, brisket, steak off guts, and bone marrow. I, I chose the the profession of a chef because it fulfills my life. It, it fulfills my heart. It fulfills everything that that I want, you know, I wake up every morning really happy with what I'm doing in my life and being able to achieve the things that I have achieved, that's the most important for me. So these are the patties here, uh, 85 to 90 grams, bone marrow, dry aged beef, it's just like, wow, it, it's so many different flavors and, and aromas. We start by putting uh, our three patties on the, on the grill just use a Vietnamese style um, barbecue grill, uh, just wire mash. We, we try to do everything very, very, very rustic. Make sure that all the meat is nice and flat, because after you cook it, you're gonna have the meat shrinking. I use molden uh, sea salt. I don't really like uh, the fine table salt for cooking. I love meat. It's like meat, pork, beef. It's like I even have it in my knuckles. A lot of my, all of my tattoos are like food related, and 80% of them are, are meat related. I think the whole difference as well in what you do is presentation-wise. So you got to be careful in how you know you, you do everything, every single step. It's only a burger in the end, you know. So you need to make sure you slice it properly. Uh, so we just want to grill it for a second here just get a bit of that smoke as well in the in the bun uh, as well as the as the meat I'm from Brazil so barbecue is the is always been a really important part of my life uh, first time I remember being in a barbecue the first picture of me with food I'm four and a half years old and I'm and I'm basically putting chicken chicken hearts on skewers next to my dad Homemade ketchup. Not a lot, sriracha mayo. As you can see, you have a really nice Mylar reaction going on there. Uh, this guy here has a little bit more to, to give, but these two guys are pretty much ready to roll. Just make sure that you, that you have it going where you want it to go. And one side is completely cooked, the other side it's still raw, yeah? Because we don't want to overcook the meat. I'm just gonna bring it here to the light so you guys can see the caramelization that I'm talking about. Really nice. This is a Dutch manufacturer. Um, it's really good, uh, plasticky looking cheese, you know, but it's amazing with the burger, goes really well. Make sure that we put our cheese. And with that, we're gonna go back to the grill. Um, because it's only a 90 gram patty, we want to get the caramelization on the other side and make sure that we get that heat in there to melt the cheese. Which is what we're doing here now, caramelizing the yeast. Just low and slow, get all the juices caramelized, all the sugars in the onion caramelized. In the end, we're gonna end up with amazing bacon jam. We get our resting tray, we have Patty number one, patty number two, patty number three. Basically sits on top of our burger. Nice amount, nicely distributed. That we get our homemade ketchup and our mayo. And we will place a bed. So over here we will have our bun. 
grab hold of our patties and you place it gently on top of the bun and you just make sure it's really nicely. This is uh, our Harley Dog's uh, Mother Burger. Uh, it's a triple stack, uh, 40 day aged uh, dry and dry aged beef uh, with a bacon topped with a bacon, onion and bourbon jam on a bed of uh, homemade ketchup, sriracha mayo and uh, crispy potatoes.